Are you an IT admin that's been reading about the GCC High and wondering about your organization's compliance obligations? Perhaps you're a local government concerned with CGIS. Or maybe you're a government contractor managing controlled, unclassified information, and you need to be complying with federal benchmarks like CMMC, DFARS, and ITAR. Whether you're using Microsoft 365 today or really any other system, this is probably a pretty important consideration. Hi, this is Brian Riley from Liftoff, coming to you today from our headquarters here in Maryland, USA. Yes! Crab cakes and football! That's what Maryland does! Mmm, not sure about the football part. More like crab cakes and lacrosse, but whatever. If you're not familiar with Liftoff, we're a group of Microsoft enthusiasts that helps organizations get started with Microsoft 365. We help clients understand and purchase Microsoft 365 licenses, safely migrate their data to the cloud, and finally, protect and secure their new cloud environment today and in the future. In today's video, I'm going to present five critical steps you need to know as you prepare for your journey to the GCC High. Let's go. Step one is determining if your organization actually needs to be in the GCC High. Microsoft offers four primary clouds. The first is the commercial Microsoft 365 cloud, which is perfect for small to mid-sized private businesses that don't really work with government. Next is the government community cloud, moderate, or the GCC. If you're a state and local government and need to meet CGIS compliance standards, this is the cloud for you. Next up is the GCC High. This is the US-based sovereign cloud, which is designed for US government contractors. It is a much more secure and compliant version of the commercial cloud or the GCC moderate. GCC High data centers are located only in the continental United States and is operated by US-based personnel. The fourth and final cloud is the DOD cloud, which you can't really access unless you're, well, part of the DOD. Here's a nice table from Richard Wakeman of Microsoft discussing the different features of the four clouds. I'll link to this in the video description. If you're still not sure if you actually need the GCC High, reach out to us here at Liftoff and we'll be happy to help. If you've determined that you do in fact need to move your organization to the GCC High, the next step is applying for GCC High eligibility. You'll need to fill out this Government Community Cloud Intake form on this Microsoft site. I'll put this link in the description as well. It should only take a few minutes. If you're an eligible government contractor, you should receive approval from Microsoft within a few weeks. Make sure you receive validation as a Category 3 entity, as Category 2 entities are only allowed into Azure Government, not GCC High. At this point, you'll be asked to work with a qualified partner to purchase GCC High licenses, which leads us to Step 3. Step 3. Buy your licenses through Liftoff. Customers can purchase Microsoft 365 for U.S. government licenses only through select Microsoft partners, such as Liftoff. We have hundreds of clients that buy Microsoft licenses from us all over the country. We're happy to work with you whatever your licensing needs. One license of Exchange Online or a thousand licenses of E3. Whatever it is, we'll work with you. We have a dedicated licensing team. They typically respond to licensing questions and quote requests within an hour. These guys are fast. Before buying your licenses, it will be beneficial for you to have a conversation with us about the complex Microsoft 365 license menu. There are tons of different products and many, many price points. It can be very confusing to understand. We have tools such as product spreadsheets where you can mock up monthly and annual costs based on different licensing scenarios. We're happy to help you here as we don't want you to overspend on products that you don't need. Step four is migrating your data to the GCC High and activating your tenant. Some of our licensing clients are pretty technical and can handle a data migration to the GCC High Cloud. And that's totally fine. However, if you'd like a partner to help you with your data migration and cutover services, Liftoff can help. 
Over the last 13 years, our engineers have performed over 1,000 migrations to all the different Microsoft clouds from really any source system that you can imagine. A very common migration project that we work on is moving from the Microsoft 365 commercial cloud to the GCC High. This can be very complex as there are many different workloads to consider, like OneDrive, SharePoint, and Teams. Also, your domain can only be in one tenant at any given time, making your cutover activities very difficult. I could go on and on. Feel free to reach out to us with migration questions. The final step is step five, security and ongoing maintenance of your tenant. Your new GCC High tenant is not secure or compliant right out of the box. It's up to you to optimize spam and malware settings, configure conditional access security policies, and to generally be secure and compliant. Now, much of this would be in a typical liftoff scope of work for a full migration project. If you're only doing licensing with us, however, we'd be happy to conduct a security health check just to be sure it all looks good in your tenant. Also, Microsoft 365 has an evolving feature set and things are constantly changing. Be sure you're paying attention to all of the Microsoft updates announced in the admin centers. So that's it, five steps to get to the GCC high. This entire journey can really take as long as you want. Most of our projects go usually from four to eight weeks. Some go a little bit faster if our clients are facing a deadline and some of our clients want to be a little bit more slow and controlled with their migrations to the GCC High. Feel free to reach out to us at liftoffonline.com with any questions that you have on licensing, migrations, or really just general questions about Microsoft 365. Thanks for watching today.